what's happening everybody smoking locust again just wanted to do this video because i got a new gas mask today uh back on top of the dumpster because it is gas mask and i'm at work so and this is for work uh i want to take a moment just to before i get into get into this here everybody that helped me out on uh, the m17 a1 gas mask video that i had before uh step one survival man you're awesome uh jacob dagger man thank you i appreciate it you were one of the first ones to comment to help me figure out what this was along with step one and then gas mask collector review they all commented on that good guys every one of them you should go check out their channels there's some pretty interesting stuff out there uh a lot of guys know more about this than I do, but I got this new mask in. Uh, it wasn't cheap, but work paid for it. And um, all the studying and advice uh, that everybody gave me and listening and watching their videos helped me decide on what I needed to get for work. And hopefully you guys will be proud of me. <clears throat> anyway, this is the new mask I got and it is a SGE 150. Not sure what those other numbers mean in there uh and then i got a, a ma hopefully this cartridge fits it uh it should be a 40 mic mic <laughs> anyway how about that there uh staff sergeant uh, i learned something uh anyway i'm gonna set this down i'll unwrap it and uh come right back to you all right got her unwrapped let me see if i can do this with one hand Ooh, a little hiss. I did loosen it a little bit, but not all the way, obviously, just to see if I could get it in, get it on or off. Make sure this thing is set down in there. Hey, I got it right. It's screwing in. How about that? It's almost as hard to do as that other monster. Check it out. Not as much in the way, though. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Man, that stuff feels soft. Very soft silicone rubber. Very, very soft. I got a feeling this thing's gonna work awesome. I'll make sure I remove that before I use it. Made in Italy, assembled in the US. Ought to be okay, huh? Those Italians can do something. If any guys from Italy, maybe one of you guys made this. <laughs> anyway, that's it. I just wanted to show it off. I think this thing uh, was 125. Five U.S. dollars, and the canister was forty or forty-five dollars. Yeah, I think that's right. So it's an expensive piece of equipment, but uh, what I really liked about this was not only that this filter is going to be last a lot longer than that other thing that I had, and it protects against many more things. Uh, but also the uh, the plastic, the glass that's on here, I think resists up to 1400 degrees for several minutes. Uh, so uh, and with the heat that I'm around, if I have to use it, hopefully that'll help save my facial hair. I won't burn it off. Anyway, wanted to share that with you guys. Hope you liked it. It's just kind of a short video, but I'm excited and I wanted to put it out there. Oh, one more thing. Craig Allen, remember last time? Showed it off back here. Yeah, they came and cut down a bunch of trees last week. Now you can really see I-75 over there. See all the, the cars moving around. Anyway, I don't even think you could see that billboard before. Only, only that one right there. Check that out. Anyway, Woo! Gosh, man. Hope I didn't make anybody dizzy. My shaky camera movements. Appreciate it, y'all. Thanks for watching again. I'll try to get more content, more videos out soon. Smoking Locust, out.